Welcome to the YouTube channel. In this Power Automate tutorial, we will see how to convert integer to array in Power Automate. So here we will cover four methods to convert convert integer to array in Power Automate. The first method is method is using array method. Third, second method is create array method, and the third method is we will use the square bracket to convert the integer into array. And then fourth method is using split method, which we will use to convert the array, convert the list of uh, string numbers into array. So now let's check out our first method. So create an instant cloud flow. Here provide the flow name and then click on manually trigger a flow. Then click on create. Now we will initialize an integer variable where we will provide the integer value. So now search for initialize variable action. Here provide the integer variable name that is let's say var int and select the type as integer and here provide the integer value as 23. Now we will create array. For this we will use compose action. So you can search for compose and then click on compose action. Here provide an expression using array method. Write array. Here you can see array method and here go to the dynamic container and provide the integer value and click on OK. Now save the flow. Now our flow is saved. So we will click on test button then click on manually then click on test button. Next click on run flow. Once it get connected then click on dem. Now you can see our flow ran successfully and the integer is converted to the array. Now we will see how we can use create array method. For this create array. So here you can take the create array method and here provide the number which you want to convert it to array format. Let's say 12, 23. 34. If you want to add more number, then you can add uh, to the create array method and then click on OK. Now, if I will save the flow and click on test button, then click on manually, then click on test button, then click on run flow, then click on done. Now, you can see multiple number converted to array. Now, let's see how we can create array using square bracket. So, for this, I will initialize another variable. Go to the variable section and select initialize variable action. Here, I will change the variable name to num1 and the second variable name is num2. Here, I will select integer. Here, I will provide another integer value. Next, we will use the expression. We will not use any expression. We will directly write in the compose action square bracket start select num1 from the dynamic content then provide comma then select num2 and then close the square bracket if you want to add more integer value you can add with comma separator then click on save button once it gets saved click on test button then click on manually then click on test button once the connection things get done then click on run flow button then click on done here you can see your flow ran successfully now let's check here you can see the integer is converted to array now our last method is we will convert the string integer into an array so i will delete this initial variable i will convert this thing to string here i will provide the string integer let's say 23 24 4, 34, 45 and remove this thing. So as we have initialized the string integer, so we will convert this to array. For this we will use split method. Split method will convert the string into an array. So split method here we will pass this variable inside the split method and then click on ok now save the flow and then click on manually then click on test button then click on run flow then click on done then it's a two parameter and i have only passed the variable but i didn't pass any parameter that's why the error came so i will pass the parameter that is separate uh, comma se comma and now we will update this expression now click on save then click on test button then click on test then click on run flow then click on done 
Here you can see your flow ran successfully and you can see all the string entries are converted to array. So that's all for today. We will see you on next video. So do subscribe to our channel to see lot more free video tutorial on SharePoint, Power Apps, Power Automate, Machine Learning and many more. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to our channel to see lot more free video tutorial on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate, Python and Machine Learning. Thanks for watching.